going on here, YouTube? Um, Total Destruction 1497 here. And today we are going to be I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Majika or Majika, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Easy Grabber 2. Now you can get this on Amazon for somewhere between ten and thirty dollars. Um, it all depends on one, what company you buy it from, like what seller, I should say, not company. Um, what seller you get it from. Um, if the price has maybe changed since I got it, when I got it, I think it was around 20. Uh, it might have gone up, might have gone down, who knows. Um, but yeah, you can get it on Amazon for around 20 to 40, 20 to 35, 40 dollars. So, fairly cheap capture card. Um, first let me show you what will be in the package when you get it. The first thing is the CD software for your computer. Now without this you can't capture any gameplay. Um, so in other words, if you don't have this disc, you're out of luck. You can't record your gameplay unless you can find it on the internet. Um, you might be lucky enough to find it on the internet, you might not. Who knows? But anyways, so yeah, without this you can't record your gameplay, but it comes in the package if you get it on Amazon new. So, Alright, the next thing we have here that comes in the package, and the only other thing that comes in the package, is the capture card itself. You can see it's fairly small. It's pocket... It, if the cords were not here, it'd be pocket-sized, around the size of a like maybe a DVD player remote or something. Um, starting at the starting at the one end of it, we've got you know we've got AV composite cables, you know red, white, and yellow. I did that in the complete wrong order, but <laughs> red, white, yellow, and then we've got S video. Now what S video is for is in case you don't want to have to use composite, you can hook up your S video cable, which I don't think it comes with the Xbox. I think you have to buy that separately. Um, but what it basically does is it allows you to still play your Xbox with the picture showing up on your TV while you still play recording it on your computer. I know that sounds kind of complicated, but um, you can hook the S video up and it will record audio video without you having to resort to playing on your laptop. So that's pretty cool. Um, Next thing we have here is the capture card itself. Sorry, that's upside down. You can see it says Easy Grabber. And the, this this light right here, this flashes red when it's recording, just so you can know that it's recording. Sorry. This light right here uh, is blue when there's power, so once you plug the USB into your computer, um, it, will fla it won't flash blue, it'll just, it's a solid blue. Um, it'll let you know that there's power going into the capture card itself so you know that there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and this button here starts the recording, or you can start the recording on your computer um, in the software. Um, so you could you have more than one way, like, you know, say the button breaks or something, you can still start recording with that. Um, or vice versa, you know, if the recording button on there doesn't <laughs> seem to work. I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, and then moving down, you have a really long cord, and then you have your USB. Now this USB obviously gives the capture card power and allows the cap the video from the Xbox to be transferred to the computer. Okay, that's all that comes in the package. But other than that, there are a couple other things you're going to need. Obviously, anyone that is any way smart will know that you need an Xbox or a PlayStation 3 or a Wii or a GameCube. Something that has AV composite cables, um, you can record it all with the capture card. So Xbox, PlayStation 3, etc. You get the picture. Okay. Controller, obviously, it's in order to play your game. Uh, that's not important right now, though. Um, and, of course, like I said, you need the AV cables for your Xbox or the S-Video cable, whichever one you'd rather use. And then, last but not least, you're going to need some kind of computer. I so happen to have a laptop, but that is all you're going to need. Five simple things, so it's not that complicated. Now, let's get to the steps of how to set this bad boy up. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take the disk and install it onto your computer. Simply take the disk out, put it in your disk drive, close your disk drive, and install it on your computer. I already have it installed, but the installation is pretty self-explanatory. Um, the only thing that I need to add is that it will install uh, Easy Grabber, which is the software to record the gameplay, um, and it will also install uh, what is it called? 
live broadcaster dub. Um, I think it's called Dino or something. Um, D-Y-N-N-O, not D-I-N-O. Not like a Triceratops. <clears throat> or it could be called something else. But it's called Live Broadcaster Dub. Um, basically, it allows you to live... Well, pretty self-explanatory again. allows you to broadcast your uh, gameplay onto the internet with a live feed. So if you're a really popular YouTuber, you want to use this, you can use it to live broadcast to the internet. There's only certain websites you can do it on. Um, so unfortunately, you won't be able to do it on all websites. Um, I can't even remember any of the websites that you can do it on. But I will put a list on right here. So this is the list of websites you can use. But anyways, like I said, installation is pretty self-explanatory. Um, like I said, I already have it installed. Now the next thing you want to do once you have it installed, um, you want to plug your USB end into your one of your USB ports. Okay, it's plugged in, and as you can see, the blue light has light has begun to light up letting me know that there's power going into the capture card. Now, if you press the record button, nothing will happen, because there's no <coughs> video or audio connected, and your software's not open. What you want to do is you want to... I You can't really see this very well. Is you want to open up Easy Grabber, right there, and such. <coughs> now, as you can see, you have a blue screen right here. And usually... That means that either the capture card is off, your gaming system is off, or there's something wrong. But normally it means that either the capture card is off or the game system is off. So what you want to do next is you want to connect your two cables, yellow to yellow, white to white, and red to red, obviously. Any smart person, or at least half smart person, can figure that out. Or if you want to connect S video, connect S video. So now that it's all connected, you're set up and ready to go. So what's next? To make sure that it's working properly, you want to turn on your Xbox like so. And it should show up on your computer screen. And as you can see, it's pretty good quality, um, not the greatest. You can adjust it, which I'll show you in just a second once the Xbox starts up. Um, so like that, you can adjust. You can see it's doing everything I'm doing. This is not a, you know, already pre-recorded thing. It's it's live. <clears throat> um, but anyways, so a couple things that I want to show you. Um, but in order to do that, I'm going to take you to the computer live screen right now. Okay, so we're here at the computer now, um, and I'm going to show you how exactly you would do certain things on your capture card um, with your Xbox. First thing I want to show you is that this is the preview screen. Um, you can make it big by double clicking on it. It will make it larger, um, like full screen. Um, or you can adjust it to your liking by simply clicking and dragging the window like that. <coughs> Sorry. All right, come down here. This is the Easy Grabber panel. And this includes um, choosing what file to save it to, like um, you know, if you want to save it to my documents, you can do, you can choose that. Save it to my pictures, videos, music, whatever you want. Um, this, if you're previewing it um, or something, um, these buttons are for fa uh, rewind, fast forward, stop, play, um, pause, next or previous next. Um, record button is right here, like I said, like I was saying before. So you can record using this button, and to stop recording, you hit, you just hit the stop button. You can minimize the Easy Grabber panel by clicking the minimize button, and it will come down here to the left corner. And then you, to get it back up, you just double click on it uh, to make it full screen. That's how you make the actual preview full screen. To exit out of the whole Easy Grabber, just out of everything, hit the X button down here. If you need to help, click the question mark. This is to start your live broadcast. Once again, I will put the uh, uh, list of sites on the video. Um, now, now to adjust different video settings, I'm going to click on this little gear icon, and you can. This is the setup menu. You can choose the video source to between S video and composite. Like I said, I ha I don't have S video, so right now the screen is blue. 
but if you switch back to composite, it will go back to the normal screen. You can choose the video format. The standard is NTSC uh, underscore M, or maybe it's not. Yes, it is. Okay. But anyways, down here you can also adjust the brightness. Um, let me move this out of the way real quick. Adjust the brightness. It is a live um, like adjustment, so whatever you do will automatically appear right here. So like, as you can see, if I put it all the way up, it gets a lot brighter. Or if I put it all the way down, it gets really dark. You know. Um. Anyways, so yeah, you can adjust brightness and things like that with this little bar right here, with these little bars. And you want to hit default, that'll switch everything back to the way it was in the beginning when you first installed the software. <coughs> the capture button. And what that'll do is on the capture card itself, the button on the capture card, uh, th it will change that to a snapshot, but it won't change this one down here. This one will still be to record video. Now, snapshot settings. You can choose the different format, two different formats to save, um, or what kind of like picture format you want to save your snapshots to. B uh, bump map or JPEG. And then choose your save folder to save the pictures that you take to. The record. You can choose different record formats. Um, VC VCD is one I have it on now because it doesn't lag at all when I have it on VCD. Normally, I think it's on AVI. So you can choose different formats. Um, I must warn you, though, that certain games will lag if it's on too high of a quality. Like, I tried Modern Warfare 3 one time on um, WMV, and it was just lagging like a fire trucker. So... <laughs> Just, I would recommend a lower quality if you're going to be playing, like, a Call of Duty game. I know it sucks, but it will only, like, it, it will decrease the chance of lag. So, I'm sorry. Or if you just want to record sound, you could do that. Uh, you could choose WMA, WMA or MP3. And then, obviously, there's a whole bunch of different video files. I have it on VCD because that's just the lowest, not the lowest quality, but it's not um, so high a quality that it lags. You can choose whatever you want. Experiment with it. Um, something like Minecraft should be fine in WMV quality because it's obviously not a great quality game. The video quality, that is. Um, but, um, so that's it. Basically, that's what everything you need to know with your, um, Easy Grabber software on the computer. Um, so let's go back to live footage. Alright guys, so that's um, basically how you would set up your uh, Magica, Magica, whatever, how you ever pronounce it, Easy Grabber 2. Um, so any questions about the Easy Grabber, the software, or um, anything in general, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you really like to give it a big thumbs up. Actually, I realize that's the same thing as rate, but whatever. Um, and always remember to stay in the path of destruction.